Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe here at the Hanover Messe 2023. You're here at the technical forum where we dive into the juicy technical details of the hydrogen sector. Up next, we'll be talking about the recent advances in power paste, changing the future. I would like to welcome to the stage Fraunhofer Ifam, Research Fellow Hydrogen uh, Storage Technology. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Marcus Vogt. Thank you. For the kind introduction and thank you for having me today. Uh, indeed, I will talk about uh, the most recent advances in power paste technology, and I think it does have the potential to change both the future of energy storage, but also hydrogen storage, and how I'm going to show you now. So first of all, for all of you who don't yet know power paste, a quick comparison with batteries. Uh, of course, you know batteries have a high technology readiness level, so the pointer doesn't work. I will point here and uh, there to um, highlight something. Um, whereas power paste is quite a recent technology and the technology readiness level hasn't advanced that far. But we have uh, on the plus side an extremely high specific energy density and um, uh, also volumetric energy density as well as long shelf life. Um, we uh, retain the full charge over the whole temperature range, uh, range and we have uh, low capital expenditure per kilowatt hours. Compared to other storage technologies like um, pressurized hydrogen, we don't need compression technology, we don't need expensive infrastructure, um, and of course no uh, expensive and um, problematic high pressure tanks. And compared to um, internal combustion engines, we have a completely emission-free uh, way to produce electricity and also low maintenance as we ha don't have any moving parts. Um, compared to other liquid substances with high energy, like methanol, for example, with direct methanol fuel cells, um, power paste is non-toxic, so it can be used indoor, and uh, the power density is potentially very high as well. But most importantly, I think, is the uh, total cost of ownership. And as long as you store lots of energy, um, uh, the total cost of ownership with power paste can be much lower um, compared to, for example, batteries. In this slide, um, it's an overview of both the specific energy, meaning um, energy per weight, and energy density, meaning energy per volume of power paste compared to other high energy um, uh, sto storage means, means. And you can see, for example, the comp comparison with lithium ion batteries. You have roughly 10 times the specific energy and it's even much higher than, for example, methanol in combination with direct methanol fuel cells. And these charts um, include already all conversion losses, uh, in this case for power paste, by the PEM fuel cell. We think there are several entry markets um, for uh, power systems which are based on power paste, and we divide them into two groups. So the first groups are stationary systems, so backup power systems, disaster recovery, also security systems, um, because uh, we have a very high system availability and low maintenance costs. Um, and uh, most importantly, the low capex per kilowatt hour, which needs to be installed. And on the second hand, we have, of course, portable and mobile systems because of the high energy density uh, and specific energy, uh, namely light electric vehicles, drones, uh, or um, generally autonomous vehicles can be underwater as well. But also, I think in the last year, um, Become, uh, it, has, uh, it became more and more important our personal power generators, um, uh, like, um, for example, um, replacing larger batteries for home use, uh, but also applications like forklift trucks. We think all these are uh, really interesting entry markets, and I will go into a more detail for a couple of these in a couple of slides. But first, I want to tell you about the power paste reaction in general, how it stores hydrogen, how it produces hydrogen. Basically, 
what happened, okay? Um, basically, um, when you add power, paste, and water uh, to a so-called hydrogen generator or reactor, hydrogen is produced in a controlled fashion, and this hydrogen can directly feed into a fuel cell. And you can control this reaction that you meet exactly the demand by the fuel cell at any time. And to give you a better view of what is happening inside the reactor, it's a quite old video here, but here's uh, the reaction zone in a glass. So uh, these bubbles coming up is actual hydrogen between the uh, paste and um, the, the water here. And um, it's a technical forum, so I have to uh, add some technical details here as well. So why is power paste um, uh, this uh, revolutionary new material uh, which releases hydrogen? Because the main uh, component is magnesium hydride, but normal magnesium hydride just doesn't react with water. You can see here the reaction progress over time, and the red line here just wouldn't, wouldn't react with water because dense passivation layers are forming on top of the material. Only by the addition of both uh, metal salt additive and then blending it with a liquid to, to produce this paste-like substance, the re reaction becomes really, really fast. And uh, this brought us uh, back in 2013 the FSL award quite a while now, and also the fundamental size, science behind it has been published. So how do you produce power paste? Actually, it's not that hard. You start with magnesium powder, then you add hydrogen to uh, receive magnesium hydride, you add the metal salt, as I said, and the ester, and then you have the paste in the end. Here you can see the process, both on a lab scale, here you can see an actual hydrogenation reactor, uh, which we have a, at a small scale in Dresden, um, so-called agitator bed mill, uh, which produces the power paste in the single step reaction then. And um, here you can see the larger pilot scale, um, which is nearly running. It will start production soon in, uh, at Fraunhofer Cess in Brunswick. Uh, here you can see a roughly 40 liter hydrogenation reactor, large agitator bed mill, and very importantly also for larger systems, uh, a semi-automatic filling station. So last year I was uh, uh, showing you a, a demonstrator or a prototype for a backup power generator uh, cons uh, consisting of a 19 inch rack. And um, uh, before that, uh, since 2018, we've been continuously um, uh, showing you our smaller demonstrator um, for power based application. You can see the reaction principle in this very well, and you can visit in, in our booth as well uh, to have a closer look at it. Um, but talking about the larger system, why don't we have it here this year? Because the prototype is currently running in the pilot phase, and a small scale production of these. Um, backup power units um, is planned for later this year. So to give you a uh, couple of technical details, it has a continuous uh, power output of 500 watt and peak power of one kilowatt. But also in the mobile uh, uh, sector, uh, we have uh, news. So we have an ongoing project uh, where we want to uh, develop next generation hydrogen supply um, for uh, small courier and express vehicles. And um, the refueling uh, takes just place by cartridge swapping here and refilling water. And um, we will finish this project in 2024. What could be potential next steps? And uh, to give you an overview, because I'm asked this very often, also on a system level, you can achieve very high specific energies and also energy densities. This could be, for example, is, is realistic values for medium-sized drones. And when you think of very large systems storing lots, lots of energy, uh, this very large systems may even exceed 600 watt hours per kilogram at the system level if you um, recuperate the water from the fuel cell and also the byproduct. 
So the patent situation of PowerPaste is very robust, and we've been granted two patents. And um, I'm glad that I can announce uh, we uh, also uh, have given the first licenses. So there are interested parties uh, who want to produce PowerPaste after our uh, pilot plan. So I'm uh, glad that uh, I can update you on uh, this point as well. So this is my last slide for today, and that's my vision, um, uh, what PowerPaste can do in the future, uh, not only maybe for niche applications, but on a larger scale. On a larger scale, I think PowerPaste is a substance um, which is able to store large amounts of electricity or energy, uh, uh, maybe excess electricity uh, by renewable energies, and um, Magnesium hydride, just as we do in Brunswick, uh, in this hydrogenation reactor, uh, could be generated, could be stored, um, decentralized, and um, then in the form of magnesium hydride or power paste, it can be carried around quite simply. So you can put it on, on, on trucks, on lorries, and drive it around, for example. And it's a very safe way, an easy way to, to move around the energy. And you've converted something very cheap, which is excess electricity, into something very valuable, a substance where you can make the, uh, uh, both the hydrogen and, and the electricity directly in the application. So you don't have to convert it back somewhere centralized. So that's a really huge advantage. And on the energy level, um, the life cycle, also the power to power uh, or electricity to electricity uh, efficiency is quite good in comparison uh, to other technologies like power to X. They are, uh, as is it's known, quite low, so 30% might not sound that much at the first view, but if you look at electrolysis and fuel cells, you are already at 46. When needing to compress, you go down further. The logistics eats up more of the efficiency, so we think we are really competitive here. And um, I think that's the other part. It can also um, uh, hugely um, change how magnesium is produced, and China actually uh, is looking it, at it at the moment, um, how magnesium can be produced in a very efficient way, way by molten salt electrolysis, and that's the way how to do it when you want to uh, produce power paste on a large level, and I think this could connect and this could really make or pave the future for power paste. Okay, that's it. So if you're interested uh, in more information, just visit us at our booth E42 here in this hall. And now I'm looking forward to your questions. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Vogt, for your very interesting presentation. I always find it very fascinating that people come up with all of these uh, innovative uh, hydrogen carriers. I'm sure there's uh, plenty of questions from the audience. So please, if you have any questions, raise your hand. So I do actually have a, a very interesting question for you. What, what can we see at your booth at E42? You can see the small demonstrator, see how it works, um, how the power paste looks like. And of course, we can talk about the different applications and um, how we could tailor a specific solution for, for individual needs. Uh, so because I don't think there is one solution for all energy needs. And that's what you see in this uh, whole hall. There are lots of different solutions. and. I think power paste could be the solution for many applications. Very cool. Sounds like it's worth a visit uh, to E42. Thank you very much, Dr. Volk. Uh, thanks very much. <laughs>